Well, in this video, we are going to learn how to wire a light switch to one or more lighting points. I'm going to take my time to tell you everything you will need and the skill required to wire a light switch to any number of lights that you wish to. So quickly, let's look at the materials that you need to do that project. Okay, so first of all, you will need a switch to control the light. Then you may need a patress box to place your switch on. Then you also need a lamp holder for your lamp. Okay, again, you would need pieces of wires. I am using brown for light and then blue for neutral. Okay, you also need a breaker. This is a six amp breaker. This normally is found in your consumer unit or your distribution board. And so the connection you are going to do to the switch should actually be taken from a six arm breaker. It could be an RCBO or a circuit breaker that is located in your consumer unit or the distribution board. There is also one important thing you need to know before you start your wiring. And that is when wiring a simple lighting circuit like what I am showing in this video, you don't have to send the neutral wire through the switch. The neutral wire must go straight from the distribution board to the lamp. Okay, so that is one important thing you have to take note of. All right, so because this breaker is not actually in a consumer unit, we need another wire to connect the supply from somewhere to the breaker. Then, we will also need a feed. The feed is the wire that connects from the circuit breaker to the common terminal of the switch. So, we take our feed from here. And then, because we are using a patress box, it has to pass through this hole before it comes up. All right, so now, where are we connecting the feed and where are we connecting the switch wire? When you turn the switch, there are three terminals here. We have one, two, and then three. This is a two-way switch. So we have L1 here, we have L2 here. If you are using only this switch to control your light or your lights, you have to use the terminal marked L for the feed and then the terminal marked L1 for the switch wire that goes to the lamp. And that is because normally when the switch is wired this way, when the gang is pressed down, your light should come on. And then when the gang is pressed up, your light should go off. And so for your switch to operate normally like that, your feed wire should connect to L and then your switch wire should connect to L1. So in that case, we are not using L2. So here, feed from breaker to L, then switch wire to lamp holder. We we'll also pass through the patress box. And that one connects to the terminal marked L1. All right, so feed to L, switch wire to L1. Okay. And then for this particular type of switch, you have to remove the top like this. And then normally when you buy a new switch, there are fixing screws that you can use to attach it to the patress box. After securing the switch to the patress box, you bring this back, then you replace this back. You just press it on it and it locks. So you have your switch and your patress box securely fixed. Then the next thing is we come to wire the lamp holder. This is how the lamp holder looks like. We are going to use these terminals for the connection. This particular type has three terminals. One, two, and then three. Normally, this big one at the middle is for earth connection. But in this wiring, I'm not using the earth connection. Before we can properly do this connection, we would have to disassemble the lamp holder.
Now, for this particular type of lamp holder, live and neutral can be connected to any of these two terminals. It does not matter where you connect live and then where you connect neutral. Live can go here, live can go here, any of the two, and then the neutral will take the remaining terminal. After that, we bring our neutral wire. The neutral wire connects to the second terminal. So after that, then we put it back. All right, so we have our lamp holder fixed, our switch fixed, we are done with wiring our lighting circuit. So in this wiring, we have one switch that will be controlling one lamp. This is our lamp. All right, so let's see if it works. So our breaker is switched on, and then we have to operate the switch down, on, up, off, on, off. All right. So in case you are using this lighting circuit and then all of a sudden you switch on and your light is not working. You switch off, it's not working. You switch on, it's not working. Then you are wondering if it's your lamp that is faulty. And so you went to buy a new lamp to replace the old one. Still, it's not working. Well, even if you are not an electrician, the first simplest thing you can do is to check from the consumer unit if the six amp breaker from which that circuit is connected is off or is on. And as you can see here, you can see that this hour breaker is off now. Okay, so if you check and your breaker is off, you just bring it back and then that might solve your problem. So sometimes it's so simple. You just go back and reset your breaker and that is all. If you reset the breaker and then the breaker goes off again, then it could be a problem that you will need a professional electrician to help you check it out. So now the next thing we are going to do is, let's assume that you already have this circuit working and then you want to add another lamp to this already existing one. In that case, you don't need to come back to the switch again. All you need to do is to get two pieces of wires like this, one for live, one for neutral, and then you switch off your circuit. By that time, you must already have your lamp holder and then your other lamp. You remove the lamp and then you dismantle it using the same process we used when we were fixing it. So you remove it like this, and then you do same to the new lamp holder you are fixing. Now, this is the wire you are using for the extension to the other lamp holder. And so you will add brown to brown here, then blue for neutral. Make sure your terminations are well done by tightening them very well. So you secure it just like we did earlier. And this will still be at its old position. So now we have additional two cables, just as we did the first connection. Brown comes to one of the terminals, you tighten it properly, and then blue goes to the other terminal. After that, you reassemble it. And we are done with our extension. So we have our first lamp, and this is our second lamp. So simple, we are done. And so here, now instead of one lamp, we have two lamps. If you want another lamp, you use the same process. You just connect brown to brown, blue to blue, and then you connect it to the new lamp holder. If you want another one again, you just continue like that until you have the number 
that you are satisfied with. So here, when we switch on, we have two lamps on. When it switches off, two lamps go off. On, off. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Please kindly share with your friends and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.